Many of you guys don't know this, but before I became a professional footballer, I was a high school teacher. And students said to me, hello Mr. Rowley, hello sir. And teaching was fun, but I still had this football goal that I wanted to achieve. At the time I was also playing in the second division in Australia, training three to four times a week and I was earning maybe two to three hundred Australian dollars per game. So I was living very, very comfortably. I was still at home and yeah, life was easy. My goal was to play football full time and earn a living from it. And I had tried that a couple times in the past, but I was unsuccessful. However, at this time, 21 years old, I was speaking to a ex-coach and he said like, you can teach any time in the future. Like, why are you wasting your time now? go and give it a real good shot in the next few years. And that's exactly what I did. And this, this time was much different from previous times because I quit my job at, at the end of the school year and I really decided to go for it. I thought Thailand would be a good place to go because they've got heaps of teams, they've got four divisions, it's all full time. The money's not so great, but it's what I wanted to achieve. I had no real expectations, but I just wanted to achieve that goal first and then go from there. I managed to get like five or six trials in Bangkok and everyone wants to play in Bangkok. So there were heaps of people trialing, like 30 players in some trials and I was unsuccessful. And I just kept on trying, kept on trying to find opportunities and then the agent told me, look, there's an opportunity in a place called Chumpon, which is a 10 hour overnight bus ride from Bangkok. And I said, all right, let's do it. Let's go. So the next day, went to the training, played really good, and they wanted to sign me. That night, I had to stay with the local players at the dormitory, and I kid you not, that was a humbling experience. And I was thinking to myself, what am I doing here? Do I really want to sign for I think it was 1,500 Australian dollars per month and I was earning that easily in a week in Australia. But then I said, hey, you're here to experience this. You want to play full time. So in the end, I decided to sign there. Yeah, that year turned out really good. And then it led on to me going to different countries, Germany, Luxembourg and playing there. And nine years have passed and that was such a good decision. Um, really going for what I wanted in life. I really think that if I would have gone back to Australia instead of staying in Thailand then I would have probably ended up just playing local football, second division and just teaching. And I'm glad I didn't. And that's what I see with a lot of people that are from Australia, they want to go overseas and play football but they don't really you know try hard enough, they don't really grind it out and that's a shame. They don't want to play in a lower level and then try and work their up, way up and they give up too easy. If I can pass on one piece of advice for you, it is if you want something then you go for it fully, 100%. Not like when I was younger, I said, okay, I've got this second option, I can go back. Okay, you need to go for it full, try your hardest. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out, but at least you gave it your best shot. Alright guys, I want to hear what your goals are in the box below. Share it, and yeah, looking forward to reading it. Alright guys, until next time, ciao.